Okay, so when we arrive at the Pharmatopia Island, we come to this entrance point here. You can see at the mortar and pestle there, rotating around the mortar and pestle, are the Collaborating University logos. Around the balustrading around the deck, you'll notice that we've got signs. Every time there's a tool or a facility on the island, we put up a sign and you can touch on the sign and it will take you to that facility. On my right hand side you can see an eagle's nest type building perched on top of a rock, that's the council chambers. Pharmatopia the island is administered by a council comprising of two members for each of the ten collaborating universities and we have meetings in Second Life. On my left we can see the um, tableting plant and this is Monash University's contribution to the island. This is the first learning tool that's been developed. Other learning tools are on the way as I spoke about before. We can walk into the facility and we come to an entrance room. Now similar to um, entrance rooms to real life tableting research and development facilities that exist in industry, there are the health and safety signs around the plant telling you that you must wear all the appropriate safety gear. There is um, a sign giving the layout of the plant. So if the student's unsure of what they can do, they can simply follow the numbers on the floor and that will tell them in which order they should use the various pieces of equipment. The students need to wear the appropriate safety gear. I've got my safety pants and safety coat on at the moment. In Second Life, once we've got something in our inventory, we can then, if it's clothing, or in this case safety glasses, we can then wear it and then that puts the safety clothing on. So now I've got all the appropriate safety wear. We've also got um, an e-lab book. Now in Second Life, things like e-lab books, they get called head-up displays. This is a bit similar to what they use in the latest model um, expensive imported cars or in fighter jets they have head-up displays and we've got one of those as well. And it keeps track of what we've done in the laboratory so that we know where we're up to in the, in the, in the laboratory exercise. Once we have all the appropriate safety wear and we have our head up display, we can then enter the facility. Like all tableting, real tableting plants using real active ingredients, um, there's an airlock. And so this is so that none of the drug in a powdered form will escape from the laboratory and into the environment or contaminate people who have, don't have the appropriate safety clothing on. So we can enter through the safety lock, walk through and we're into the laboratory itself. So what is, before coming to Second Life, um, pharmatopia, a student will be given a particular tablet to make. Up on the wall here we have the ingredients that are used to make tablets and what a student needs to do is then select the ingredient and then ask if we want to keep that ingredient so we keep that, that gets stored in our inventory. For the binder then we need to choose the amount of that ingredient we think appropriate. So let's just choose point 0.2 we go in this manner through all of the ingredients and we can choose the amount of that ingredient that we need. Okay, now we've got each of the ingredients, kept all those ingredients, we can take them over to our mixers. These mixers are replicates of industrial sized mixers. What they'd really use in Glaxo and Pfizer. We haven't recreated them exactly because of copyright reasons, but they're close enough so a student will be able to look at them and say, yep, that's a mixer. With the ingredients of our inventory, we then simply get our, we're still in recent here, our ingredients that we selected off the shelf. Let's just drag that window up a little bit so it's close to the mixer. And we drag those ingredients onto the mixer. And you can see that small jars of powder are appearing onto the mixer. Once we've dragged all five ingredients onto the mixer, or five ingredients. We then click on the mixer and it starts. Now you notice above the mixer there's a time clock counting down. Mixing can take anywhere upwards of two to three hours. We don't want our students sitting here for two to three hours watching a virtual mixing process. And yet we don't want it to happen instantaneously either. We want a student to get an idea that yes, it takes some time to mix ingredients, but we don't want them to be sitting here for that long. So it counts down from two hours in about five seconds. Once it's finished mixing, it then gives us the mixed powder. Again, we get that mixed sample. We can drag it down onto one of these yellow pads here. Drag and drop sample to be pressed on here. You can see we've got a sample of mixed powder. And then we click on the tablet press. 
and that tablet press is running. And you can see now the animation involved. So this tablet press, even though it's virtual, works exactly the same as what a tablet press really does. So a student gets an idea of the machinery and how tablets are really made, but again they don't need to learn the physical skills of turning on a tablet press or turning on a mixer. That's not what today's pharmacy students need. And in here we've replicated the four quality control tests that industry and that we used to do in real life perform on tablets to make sure they've been that the formulation is successful. So now with our tablet sample we can drag that down onto the drag and drop. We can click on the instrument and that will now perform the tests. What I haven't said so far is that we have simulation software running behind this interface here. It keeps track of the ingredients and the amount of each ingredient chosen and then it comes up with the simulated answer and you can see down here on the left hardness tester result 10.25 kilos and we should be able to see the results in our head-up display as well. Okay, we've performed the first test, hardness 10.25 kilos. So this is like an electronic notebook. So students can write these down either in a physical notebook or in their notes and this tells them the properties of the tablets that they've just made. As I said, in real life this used to take nine hours of practical class for a student to get to this stage. It takes a student virtually about 10 minutes to, to go from when they enter the plant, get appropriately um, dressed and to perform the experiments. You'll notice that in here there hasn't needed to be a staff member or an academic member in here controlling what the student does. This is a learning tool which is available 24-7. Students, We will give students time, timetable time to do this. We'll book time in our computer laboratories for students to do this task. But what we've found out with previous online tasks is that students in fact perform them when and where they want. And that's one of the beauties of doing online virtual laboratories is the accessibility. If you've got a broadband connection, the Second Life software is free. Download and install the software and then you can access this learning tool whenever you want and how many times you want to. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed Pharmatopia and I hope to see you in Second Life.